Welcome back, stars. Welcome to your February 2021 reading. This applies to Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Venus, as well as your North Node. So make sure you grab your birth chart to see where you can get the most benefit out of this reading. If you do not have your birth chart, there is a link in the description box below where you can receive one for free. Okay, as well as my email address oracle of the ether at gmail.com where you can book with me if you choose to all right i want to welcome back all my stars if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscription button we would love to have you we're going to get right into the reading because tarot is about high vibe low vibe and those in the middle no striving to be in the middle now with that being said know where you are in this reading this could apply to someone in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them, an ex, a coworker, a boss, even a child, okay? All I ask is that you be relaxed. Now, Pisces, <clears throat> I want to know some of the things from your past that could possibly be blocking you currently. Ethan, show me what it is I need to see. No, oh, all right. So, some of you are dealing with a... Gemini, Libra, or an, an Aquarius, okay? You could also be on the cusp of Aquarius. If that is the case, I want to say happy Resol return to all the Aquariuses watching this. Okay, again, this could apply to Moon as well as Jupiter, Mars, Mercury. This is a bunch of blessings coming all in alignment, okay? This is a completion. Someone definitely wants to reach out to you. Again, you could be in some form of communication, Someone could want to send out a message, a text. You could be in social media, okay? Or you could work in some form of communication. You could also be dealing with the Capricorn. Huh. Again, you could be on the uh, cusp. Some of you, yeah, some of you are dealing with uh, another cusper, possibly a Capricorn in a Aquarius cusp, okay? Or you could be watching for someone that is on the cusp. I feel like someone's seen something. They had the foresight. They had some sort of knowledge or some sort of prophecy about something, okay? So what's blocking Pisces from moving forward? Pisces is a very intuitive time sign. You could be dealing again with an Aquarius, or this could be some wish that you made. This could be a confirmation for someone as well. Regarding some sort of cycle completing, you could also be traveling or need to travel away from someone that is karmic. With the omen here, you could be seeing all kinds of signs and synchronicities about this person. The bottom of the deck, we have messages, okay? Again, you could be all kind of seeing all kinds of signs and synchronicities about this person. But the fragmented energy that indicates either someone is fragmented as far as they can't get their thoughts together, okay? They don't understand or understand the messages that they are receiving. Some of you may be dealing with someone that has recently awakened to spirituality. Someone could also be um, like into divination. They could cast, cast bones, okay? Because that is a form of divination. Someone could be connecting with spirits. 
Also, someone could be delusional with fragmented energy, okay? For me, that means that someone um, possibly don't know what ascension is. Someone could have got trapped in another dimension, okay? So Pisces is, is, again, a very spiritual sign. Someone definitely is seeking the truth here. You may, in, you may be into dowsing, okay? Some of you could be hikers, you could really love the outdoors or um, you could live by a river or a pond or, you know, some of you may have even found some bones hiking. Okay. You could also be dealing with Libra or their court system, or you could be a Libra. I feel like someone wants to bring balance or they may feel some sort of karma ending. I'm hearing coming to completion. You could be an oracle, again, or into some sort of divination. You could also receive downloads from the divine, okay? I feel like with the 10th house here, someone is very fearful about what they may have seen or, um, you know, had the foresight to see. Some of you may consider it a nightmare. Maybe if you've seen something futuristic, you may question it. I feel like uh, the 10th house is most definitely Saturn energy. That is Capricorn energy. I feel like, again, some of you may have traveled away from someone due to something that you may have seen or for, had the foresight to see. Some of you may feel like you dodged a bullet. Somebody else may be in court. With the mystical here, somebody definitely, definitely connects to the underworld. There's some sort of change happening for you. You could be into feng shui or uh, into I Ching. Again, like some form of shells throwing or something like that. Some of you may shoot dice too or gamble a lot with the fortune cookie. Ooh. Some of you do not like Chinese food. That's weird. Okay, so some of you may not eat meat. Okay, um, but however, I do feel like you may be dealing with a Sagittarius or again, this could be your energy because this is Pisces, Pisces in the building because this court, this, this card, this courtship, that's what I was going to say. Mercury be in my mouth, so excuse me. This represents Wheel of Fortune for me, okay? That's Sagittarius Pisces energy. Some of you may be questioning what is in the fortune cookie, like what is behind this door. Some of you may have been resisting change, okay? I feel like you did come to some sort of karmic completion with someone, okay? Let's see what this is all about. Oh, alchemy, all right? So, yeah, I feel like somebody definitely completed a karmic cycle with someone that they feel um, either they feel they was doing some spell work on them or, you know, someone could feel like you were doing some spell work on them. I'm hearing mystical. Someone, yeah, someone could have definitely be doing some uh, spell work in nature or... I'm seeing somebody do something by a tree here, bury something by a tree here. I feel like, yeah, someone definitely studies occult knowledge. Uh, you could possibly be dealing with someone sending negative energy towards you with the scouring mirror. Somebody also could practice scouring. If that is the case, someone could have seen, uh, foreseen something or tried to project some negative energy towards you. I feel like your, uh, your guides, your higher self, uh, your um, your um, higher level ancestors, whoever it is that you uh, call on for guidance, has some blocked it some kind of way. Okay, so with the smoke and prayers, this is this is like shamanic energy here. Okay, with the sun card, they could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like someone didn't have all the information, and it caused someone to walk away. This was someone could have foreseen this too, with the destiny card here. Someone could have could could have studied your chart, okay? This is uh, Pisces again with the Neptune. This is talk about sacrificing. This is talk about astral traveling, especially since this is your card. This is also speaking about dreams and having the ability to see things in the future. I feel like someone definitely surrendered to their calling here. Um, with the Destiny card coming up in the future, you may have a choice. I don't know where this was here, but let's see. All right. All right. So now I want to know where you are at presently. Either show me where it is, what it is I need to see, where it is I need to see. Yeah, some of you are looking for something. Maybe you misplaced your keys. That was weird. 
Some of you could have left something at a park and had to go back and get it. That, that, that's random. Some of you also could be staring out your window. I see someone somewhere where it's cold or rainy or something where you are at that could have you reminiscing wanted to travel. Some of you are making plans to travel with the 10th house. Mm -hmm. You could also be dealing with someone that's in the public eye. Okay, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius or you have some sort of plans to travel in the month of February. So that is Aquarius season. Okay, Aquarius Pisces season, right? So we're talking about you completing some sort of cycle, moving away or moving on to your calling. I feel like where you were at, this was a place where you spent a lot of time. You gained a lot of knowledge. This could be some a place of uh, business for some of you. You could also work with people um, that are public, like, I mean, public, that are famous. Some of you like are PRs or something like that. Yeah, you could work or you could work around a lot of well known people or you are a well known person. Yeah, with Taurus is Taurus here, some of you are definitely um the man behind the man or the man, the woman behind the woman. I feel like you are into some sort of finances with Taurus here. I feel like someone may be changing their belief systems, especially if you're dealing with uh a Taurus or another Pisces or Pisces, this is you. You're changing your belief systems here. I feel like you're pursuing some sort of higher calling, okay? Some of you may have gotten a sign to leave someone, especially if you're dealing with the Capricorn. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Some of you may have had a long-term commitment with this person or a Virgo or, some, or this Capricorn wants to come back. I don't know. Let's see, it could be a Capricorn paying attention and looking out for you or some signs of you here. You could have a conflict with this person. With the sixth house, I feel like you're changing your, your routine or your diet. Or you're needing to. Someone can also see you as mysterious. You may have ghosted someone. You may have traveled away. Someone could have left Someone could have left from one place to another or left one job to another. You could be in um, the food service industry or some sort of public service industry. Quality control, I'm hearing for someone. Okay. Some of you are very passionate with this Mars energy. You could have fire in your chart heavily. Are you the person that you are uh, thinking about? Okay, yeah, some of you like... Some some of you like someone's cooking. I'm, that's random. But every this is I'm sorry, but this is my cooking car. Somebody likes somebody's cooking, or someone is a good cook here. Someone definitely um, ended something with someone to begin something new with someone that they feel more passionate about. You could also be changing your uh, viewpoint on your friends. You may have wanted to free yourself from a circle where people were very arrogant. I feel like, yeah. I feel like some of you feel like you were in a to uh, toxic relationship with someone that was just all surface. You may have had like a sexual, really deep connection with this person. Some of you, you have child, uh, children with them. Some of you, you could have been married as well. Okay. Some of you may be going back to someone. That is interesting. Okay. What is blocking... Okay, so some of you, yep, that's that Capricorn energy. So this is you, you, okay, some of you do not want to end something. Some of you want to nurture something. You want to bring something back to life. Okay, you feel, you may feel like someone is holding on to you for your finances or what you can do for them. You're definitely dealing with the Capricorn. Okay, okay. Some of you are definitely in a karmic cycle. With the third house, you somebody could be wanting to communicate from jail. That's weird, okay. Okay. Some of you may have gotten married in jail. That's weird. Yeah. All right. 
some of you may have someone that works in the jail, like a, a jail, um, what is that person called? Uh, a jail priest or something, or has some sort of affiliation with that? Okay, possible outcome. Somebody is definitely dedicating themselves in whatever field they are doing, okay? Um, are moving towards something very passionately, okay? And there's a lot of red on the table. Uh, and I feel like it's coming from a good uh, a good place here. But with yeah, this spells card, this could indicate a transformation after a karmic completion. Somebody could have been doing core cutting or uh, like uh, work to free their bloodline, I'm getting. Some of you are dealing with people that deal with like uh, shamanic people that know how to cleanse karma. karma. Okay. Somebody is definitely waiting for the right time. You may be connected with someone that's in a cold environment or you could be in this cold environment. I feel like going forward... Your possible outcome to the situation is healing. You could be seeing 6-6 six, six or 5-5-5. Five, five, five. There's domestic harmony here with the blue. Uh, for me, that's indicating... Um, I'm, I'm hearing crown chakra, but someone definitely wants to speak to you. Okay. I feel like with this time out, someone definitely wants to travel or take you out somewhere. This person wants forgiveness. Someone definitely wants to come back. I feel like this person is in the middle of ending something. They're definitely following their intuition. You could be connecting with another uh, Pisces or a Cancer. Someone wants forgiveness. Someone is calling you in energetically. Okay. Oh, yeah. Someone needs to watch their finances too. I feel like someone is doing a lot of eating out. Or they're, they have expensive tastes, okay? Possible outcome, influences for Pisces. Moderation. So, yeah, you have to slow down. I'm getting slowed down um, on your spending here. Yeah, there's definitely a change here. You are in the, in the you are definitely in the middle of a change. Whoever this is connecting with is changing their whole way of thinking, living, and being. Fives indicate change. Okay, so I feel like someone is definitely trying to hold on to something from the past. With the moderation here, this is saying for you to go slow in this relationship. Some of you have somebody coming in. Okay, this person could come in really fast. I'm hearing twin. For some of you, it's your twin. You could be ending something with the karmic, with the domestic domestic harmony. This is saying to go slowly. Some of you are um, also calling in a higher level soulmate. For those that are not dealing with twins, you're calling in a higher level soulmate with spirituality here. This person is uh, highly connected to the divine. They could also have children. This is also indicating possibly you needing to do subconscious work or... Um, reparenting yourself some of you don't know how to be in a relationship you could also be dealing um, with a karmic you could have been in a cycle where your finances was held back due to your choices for some of you it had something to do with child support or you had to support your children financially I feel like some of you want a, a partner for like you know, domestic harmony. Some of you could be single parents. Some of you are pregnant and a single parent. There was a drastic change for someone. All right. So why is Omen here for what is blocking Pisces? This is saying that you definitely need to pay attention to what's around you. Some of you feel like it's going to be a hurricane or some sort of tsunami where you are at. If that's the, um, I'm hearing somebody say it's a glitch in the matrix, but <laughs> this is weird. Okay, so someone feels like it's going to be some sort of natural national disaster where they are. Saying paying att pay attention. Some of you feel you know you're watching, like you're looking at the birds, you're paying attention to nature here. <sighs> 
yeah, someone could be really irritated by what they what they seen. You could also be get, getting lack of sleep. Somebody's doing ayahuasca. That's really a trip right there. Okay, so with the um, five of swords, someone doesn't like what they're what they see here. You may see something um, that opens your eyes, that makes you want to embark on this new journey. Again, the full card is Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or uh, this could be you. OK, you could be holding on to someone from your past. I feel like you're waiting for the right time to make a move with the temperance card. You can have Sagittarius in your chart, but I feel the strong energy is someone holding back. Yeah. Someone definitely doesn't like what they what they're seeing here. Why is the five of swords here? I feel like someone. We have the Temperance, the Sun card, the Ten of Wands, the King of Cups, and the... Okay. Okay, I feel like someone is is either watching you or you're watching them waiting for a sign to come in, okay, and speak some sort of truth here. Someone is holding back communication. They want to come in with a new offer. However, they feel like they... Uh, missed out on a, uh, an opportunity here i feel like this person is covering up their feelings for you oh yeah this turn reverse this is reversed in my lap yeah they're, they're trying to avoid some sort of tower moment i feel like this person made the wrong choice in the past why is the bottom of the yeah this person comes in they feel either they come in somebody could be waiting for someone to come in so they can cut them off as well Someone could also be watching the stock market. Somebody, some definitely watching some sort of investment, getting ready to, like you're waiting for the right time to cash in. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Nine of Pentacles, the Empress, and the High. Oh my gosh. Okay, so someone is definitely watching this uh, Empress energy. The Empress could be very intuitive as well um this could be someone again watching you advance if you are a pisces or pisces um you could be watching this empress okay i feel like this is all one person the empress the high priestess and the nine of discs i feel like someone watched you in the past or you watched this person and you held back or you're holding back emotions for this person someone could have waited i feel like they they had some sort of mental conflict here. Hmm. I feel like some of you may have dealt with someone that was paying attention to other people. Some of you, this person may have other people watching Someone could have lied on you with this three of swords here. But the queen of cups, I feel like someone definitely did. Okay. Someone either lied on you or lied to you. You drew back your feelings for this person. Yeah, you definitely uh, drew back. Okay. I feel like somebody is definitely holding back. I somebody could be holding a ring. Somebody could be hold holding back giving a ring to someone. Why is in the sixth six house here for Pisces' current situation? Ether. Mmm. A cup of overflowing love. Isn't that something? So this is a cup of overflowing love, possibly for a Virgo. Or if you um, have a Virgo sun or something like that or a moon or whatever. I don't know. All right. You could have Virgo in the 8th house or the 6th house, Scorpio as well, okay? However, this is definitely, um, for some of you, this is someone coming back, someone that you, for some of you had a lot of uh, mental conflict f from, this person could be coming back to give you some sort of clarity here. Yeah, this is a soulmate for some of you, okay? They want to bring justice to a situation. For some of you, this is somebody coming out of jail, 
Okay, yeah. Uh, mm, with the Ace of Wands reverse, someone is not sexually active or they can't. You know what I'm saying? Like they might need some Viagra. I'm just saying. Somebody, somebody could be. Uh, yeah. Somebody could also be, um, you know, refraining, <laughs> refraining from sex here uh, with the three of wands. I feel like someone is definitely holding out. <laughs> somebody, okay, somebody's definitely a vegetarian or thinking about being a vegetarian or need to eat some vegetables. I don't know, but with, what, why is as uh, life or death here for Pisces for what's blocking Okay, so you definitely need to end something Pisces okay and so yeah these cards is reverse and I'm you know I'm being told to leave them that way because hey they was all reversed before it was all upright before okay whatever okay so this is the A to this this is this is sloppy workmanship so if someone may feel that you didn't put enough in okay uh, into a relationship or vice versa, you could feel this way about someone. For uh, for some of you, this is your job. Okay, um, yeah, you may feel you may be tired of your job. You may be wanting to quit your job. You may feel like the people around you don't work as hard as you. With the Eight of Swords, yeah, definitely. I feel like you're feeling imprisoned by a job here. Yeah, you want somebody to come save you. For some of you, you're you getting all kind of synchronicities here, omens, to go off on your own. For some of you, you have, like, great work and you're supposed to work for yourself. Now, that's not for everybody. Don't get it. Whatever, okay? Whatever you do is very nurturing or very pleasing to the eyes. You're getting all kind of signs to leave a situation. For some of you, it's a, a person. Ooh, sorry to say that. You're not attracted to this person sexually. You do not get aroused for the men. Okay, uh, for the women, you definitely do not want to be with this person. You do not want a new beginning. This person gives you headaches. I'm hearing that uh, song. You make my ass itch, twitch. Don't you wish you could get... <laughs> Moving right along. Okay, somebody's really petty right now. At the bottom of the deck, we have the prince of swords so yeah someone is very immature you may have cut this person off because they didn't offer uh too much okay for some of you you're running into a lot of childish people okay yeah you, for some of you you know you like you're nurturing on yourself you're loving on yourself you're eating good you got all this love to to give you know and that's where you are at at the moment you know whether if you are male or female you are nurturing and loving yourself Okay, you have all this love to give, but what's blocking you is if you are with someone, um, you need to leave them alone uh, because you're not sexually attracted to them or you don't see eye to eye. You're getting all kinds of signs and synchronicities to end it, but you won't. For some of you, it's a job. Some of you, you really like cooking. You want to cook for a living or do something with restaurants or eating something. You're getting all signs, kind of signs of synchronicities to do it. Okay, I'm looking at someone that complains about other people's craftsmanship, but they won't. Like, somebody is very skilled to do the work, but they won't. Why is the eight of this reverse? King of this. This is telling me you definitely need to be an entrepreneur. Okay. Somebody um, somebody could also be an entrepreneur. You may need to end something or change the way you do business. Someone could be talking about your business style. Someone could be talking bad about you here. But the king of this, this is definitely someone that's financially stable. Oh, for some of you, it's your mate. Okay, this person, whether they're male or female, they are in their queen, uh, queen of swords energy where they just want the truth. Um, this person may feel like you don't spend enough time with them, that you only focus on your money, that you don't give them sex, most definitely. With the queen of discs, somebody could be um, somebody's 
counterpart could be with the same sex or this king of disc could have two different wom women, a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn. Okay, so somebody feels like someone's not giving enough time. Definitely there's a marriage here, possibly to this queen of disc where this king of disc is definitely, yeah, this is a, a couple here. This is somebody that's married. <laughs> Woo! So someone definitely is like, um, I'm ready to either I'm ready to sign those papers or I'm ready to, I'm ready to see those papers. Okay, somebody is very very somebody's definitely in a third party or three party situation. A you, him, and her. Okay, somebody could have possibly decided to invest in their marriage here. Ooh. Hmm. With the Princess of Swords, ooh, somebody's wife could be definitely cheating or very cutthroat in their words here. Oh, yeah, they're definitely, somebody's definitely cheating here. Someone is up at night having mental conflict about this. Someone could also be going to court. With the star here, there's, there's someone who was hoping for a return. This person could also be in their tub crying like this and drinking and having all kind of shit and fits. Yeah, they're balancing if they want to a divorce or not here. I feel that very strongly. Oop. Mm-hmm. Oh, you see that? See that little... Look, look like the courthouse to me. <laughs> someone definitely have a sole contract here. Someone could be getting uh, married or someone could be getting divorced here. It just depends. It's definitely going to be a new beginning after an uh, ending. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Someone could also be getting their footing back after a, after a divorce. If that is the case, if you're getting your footing back after a divorce, you have someone coming in, another soulmate. Be mindful. Someone is holding back something here. They could be holding the fact that they have another partner. They may be married, whether if it's male or female. Someone could be holding back that they may be married and the other person doesn't want to get a divorce or this person could want this person could be a polygamist or something like that here someone is um, very promiscuous the princess of cups this could also be a younger pisces here completing a cycle where uh somebody is definitely sneak sneaky somebody's sneaky trying to get away with something now be mindful of that Somebody's definitely dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Scorpio, but there is an ending because there was no balance in this situation. But we're going to get right on and finish the reading, okay? So someone definitely wants to either restore a situation with a soulmate, someone that they did they feel like they didn't put enough work in through this reading because it's starting to trip now. Someone is definitely trying to manifest a new change here. I feel like someone has um, a lot of wisdom here. You could also be into the occult or study some, some form of meditation. Someone sees abundance and financial um, prosperity with another woman here. Someone that they see is very passionate. Someone that they feel they left... Uh, they, they missed out on something here, possibly due to not making a choice to uh, feeling like this person had a lot of options here. They didn't know who to change, who to choose. Why is change here for potential outcome or possible future for Pisces? Eat there, show me. The hangman, Pisces energy. So you're just sitting there chilling, getting enlightenment, and you're dealing with the hermit. Okay. So someone may facilitate a change. Pisces, you may walk away from this person, especially if you're dealing with the Virgo, because they're going to um, just leave you hanging here. <laughs> okay, not laughing. But the hermit here in this card has flowers growing under their feet. This is someone that's 
Uh, for some of you, this is a soulmate. You possibly went your se separate ways. I'm getting that petty energy of I'm not going to call this person. Oh, I'm not going to call this person. They ain't going to call me. Oh, I ain't going to call them. Even though you're getting all kinds of signs of synchronicities, someone is being very egotistical, possibly both of you, okay, especially if you're dealing with a Virgo. However, there is some sort of change uh, manifesting for you and this person. Okay, for, for some of you, you're going to walk away. And this may be you going into this hermit mode. However, I do feel the energy, energy shifting and someone being in mental turmoil behind this. Yeah, because you got really defensive with the seven of wands here. Uh, you took that power back. You put it into your manifestations. You started building something. You walked away with that eight of cups. Why is the hermit here? Some of you went through a, a, a time of enlightenment. So that's you. you. You're changing. You are now this person that has all this wisdom. Okay. You may have been there for a while, but you know, you gained a lot of knowledge. Why is the hermit here? Yeah, you, you're definitely waiting for your uh, ships to come in with the Three of Wands, and they are very much coming in, okay? I feel like you took that time to balance your emotions. However, you're leaving someone in a lot of mental uh, turmoil here, okay? Or for some of you, Pisces, this is you because you leaving someone hanging, leaving someone waiting too long, okay? Yeah. Yeah, some of you could possibly be in the same sex um, situation here, or you could have two people: a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a um, Aries, Taurus. Someone that is a business owner, and someone that is just very passionate in the bed for those women that have a choice between two lovers. Okay, some of you, you're with someone because they bring you financial stability. Others of you, it's the sex. You see that? Mm -hmm. Someone is, is going to definitely end up getting their heart broke here. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. But somebody's definitely going to end up getting their heart broken because they left someone waiting too long. I feel like the energy of you or someone leaving someone waiting, and by the time they come back, you know, they, they off with someone else. Three of Wands. Yeah. Yep. By the time they come back, by the time this person comes back, or you go back, Pisces, they're going to be with somebody else. Someone sees you as very sneaky, or you see this person as very sneaky. And, yeah, you changed a lot while this person's been gone. Some of you may have traveled. You may also left this person. Like some of you may be waiting for the right time to leave this person, possibly why somebody's at work. You're trying to decide with the two of swords here how you're going to end this situation. For some of you, you may be scared of this person, especially if you're dealing with the Capricorn, I'm just saying. Or Capricorn, you are scared of what this other person is going to do uh, in regards to your finances. For some of you, this is what your person is going through. Especially if you were dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Yeah, someone that was just uh, very focused on themselves with the Emperor here. This person left somebody heartbroken. Or this is you, Pisces. Be mindful of that. Let's get some surrender. Either show me what it is I need to see. Be mindful of taking things slow being very cautious however i feel like someone definitely learned that lesson okay i feel like someone got sold a lot of dreams or illusions or they feel that way about you pisces surrender stress surrender denial some of you are with somebody you know that you don't need to be with and uh, others of you need to surrender resentment from this past person. Go ahead and facilitate that change here. Some of you are going through that right now with the hermit mode. Don't be mindful. Um, you know, I feel like you're going to have, you're going to be very um, cautious of who you let in. I feel the energy of someone very, very, very cautious and if not, you really need to be because someone from your past could be coming back, okay? 
to apologize uh, especially okay this is somebody that could possibly be married for some of you all right go ahead and book that reading if you want a personal like comment and subscribe and i'll see you later